Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are talking Alluvium release date. We do have a post by Kieran um, that we will go through, basically stating that it is getting pushed back a little bit. Uh, we do also have some more leaks and stuff that we've gotten, some of them sneakily by Von Newman over on Twitter. So we'll take a look at those and uh, yeah, let's get into it. So first off, be warned, I suck at reading. You can go to Discord and read this for yourself, but I will do my best to read it to you guys so you don't have to. Uh, so Kieran posted today, uh, I come with good, both good and bad news. The good news is that the gameplay trailer is now going to be significantly longer and will include story elements as well as gameplay from Overworld, uh, which was not originally planned. So originally it was planned to be, um, you know, like the auto battle of gameplay type trailer. Um, and now they're expanding it, giving more of a cinematic story type element to it and also the overworld which is you know running around trying to find those alluvials and catch them the bad news is that uh we have pushed back the eta roughly seven weeks push back seven weeks that is for the trailer so the trailer should be roughly seven weeks away give or take a few so um Oh God, I've been hanging out to see this because Kieran's been hyping up what they've done so far. But, you know, we are just going to have to wait. Um, I think with the trailer, it's more of a case of they really want to deliver a complete complete polished product so that when they go to actually promote the game they've got something that's a hundred percent perfect that's the vibe i've been getting from just hanging around the discord and seeing what they've been saying and stuff like that um i feel like they don't really want to rush it because they wanted to have a, something that's like the most professional thing you've seen so um unfortunately it does mean we're gonna have to wait for that cinematic trailer or not the cinematic the gameplay trailer with cinematics but uh I'm gonna be pretty excited for it. Uh, we honestly, and then we they go on to say we honestly believe uh, to do the game justice, we need to deliver an all-encompassing trailer. So while we hate to make you wait, uh, this will be a positive move in the long run. Moving on from that, we have also decided to push back the open beta release to Q1 next year as we look to include a larger scope. So when they say open beta. Um, open beta is basically the full launch of the game but uh and i'm assuming this is what they're doing i haven't confirmed it this is just what i've seen from a lot of other games um in other industries is that they call it an open beta which means anyone can get in you can just jump in and play but they have they they want to have thorough play testing with just the people that really want to before they go ahead and do their full marketing scheme so i think that is what um the goal is going to be with this being open beta and then once they they're happy with it then they go on a full marketing ploy and then they call that the official launch so basically q1 next year is when we'll be able to play uh it doesn't say exactly which month so i'm banking on january 1 if it's not i'll rage but hey <laughs> it'll come when it comes uh and then Kieran goes on to say, I take full responsibility for these delays as it was my job to ensure we had uh, we hired enough resources. And unfortunately, we are around 20% off where we need to be. Uh, to mitigate uh, the problems of further delays, we have brought on a full-time recruitment team led by De De Dengler? Dengler. Sorry, I suck at names. Uh, who previously led the hiring efforts for companies like Uber and Google. So they're hiring pretty well by the sounds of it. Uh, it was always a challenge to deliver a AAA title in the time frame that we set. And we, and we, mainly me, were probably a little naive thinking we could do it in 2021. But rest assured, our team is firing on all cylinders. Uh, we're building as quickly as possible while ensuring our standard is our standards don't drop uh we have some other very exciting things coming in the next few weeks land sales all that sort of stuff well land sales is probably another eight weeks away because of that setup but i think there was going to be a mystery drop or something like that we'll have to wait and see um and as always we will remain 100 percent transparent with the transparent with the community uh we've come a long way together we have to praise you for your patience so that is the post basically delay seven weeks on the trailer which really sucks so i want to see the thing um and then pushed back into q1 next year for the actual release but i i was sort of always expecting it to get pushed back um it just it just felt like you weren't going to get enough um closed beta testing in before the release so i'm pretty cool with it all um it has pretty much since that came up the the price of the coin has dropped a fair bit 
I think it was up at around 520 earlier today. But, uh, you know, I have no idea on charts. I'm not a crypto expert. So make of it what you will. I don't know. Hopefully it drops a bit more and I can top up a little bit more. But no, that's not financial advice. That's just me personally because I'm a degenerate and I have no idea about charts. But I just like something so I buy in. That's pretty much it. But moving on from that, that is the announcement. Um, we have had a few more leaks. So in we, when we go over here into leaks, which I clicked, but it's lagging super hard. Um, we'll go through this one in a sec, which is the combat screen with the catching stuff. Um, we do have male avatar type, um, the, the base sort of, you know, obviously no body, but the first looks at the male avatars and then a bunch more of the... Um, which we call it the landscapes type uh, type concept drawings and stuff like that, which is looking pretty clean. And this is what I mean: the detail in this game for everything from just the landscape stuff is just it's crazy. So really, really looking forward to seeing that trailer as well. But this one here is what I wanted to look at. Um, so if we jump back over to the website, this is a little video of it. But all it does is uh, if we, we'll just play this. Um, and you can see it basically represents the, the enemies dying and as they die, so if we go back here when only three of them were dead, you can see four defeated. Um, what does it say? Four. It's like only three. I think it says defeated. Anyway, probably a typo. Anyway, and you go that they're all dead and then you can catch them and these are the ones you can catch, but we're going to go ahead and look at the image of it. Um, so if I minimize that, jump back over here, go over to this one and zoom in this is the interesting thing for me so really keen to see this so when you beat them um you can catch all of them now i believe from the interviews that i've heard with kieran and stuff like that that your chance to catch them um decreases each one as time goes on so they sort of get you know they they get back their consciousness and then run away as time goes on so you want to catch them pretty quick now up the sh up the top we do have the different shards which to me i think it's going to be tier zero shards tier one tier two tier three tier four tier five that being because obviously we've got atlas here who's a tier one base level you know you can catch it with the minimum shard which is interesting to me because i thought tier zeros were the only ones going to be able to be caught but you know this could be placeholders and stuff like that so i'm not too sure um but obviously we do have the ramphy here which is like the red scale on the final one which is gonna be like the tier five shard um and the interesting thing to me is it's like to me this looks like ramphy uh ramphy like you got to use the tier five shard but it's a red line so it's like you're not even like it's not even a great chance to catch it using the the tier five shard is the way i understand that so this is gonna be so interesting whereas you look at um the umbre here or the umbre the umbre he's got uh he's he requires this is like an evolved form of it as well um requiring the same shard but has a you know a, an orange bar which makes me think he's going to be easier to catch than a base form ramphy so very interesting and that that gets further reinforced down here where uh if we look at this we've got the where is it so yeah so the atlas having that one is strange to me when they're both tier ones not too sure what's going on there but um this uh, the archie has got the t the second tier of shard required however if you want to catch the archelion you're going to need the third tier of shard and stuff like that um and archos is going to take the tier up so i think a lot of these might be a little bit placeholder oh no no yeah they might be a bit placeholder because i'm not too sure exactly how it's going to scale but i'm guessing it's going to be a rough idea on how you do it but just really interesting to look at the way you know you knock them all out and then you want to catch them and i think you really want to just go for the one you want the most first because if they get consciousness and run when that's going to be pretty sad i guess and now the other leak that we do have from von newman which this one was sneaky it didn't get posted on discord he posted it uh on his twitter so make sure you follow von newman on twitter uh the von Neu newman ilv one uh and he posted this so this is like the the the, the black holographic um ram fire which is i i really like these the, the i don't know what they call them the black or dark but these dark holographics look really really cool like the normal holographics looks cool but these things look absolutely mean so really excited for these but uh anyway that covers everything we were going through once again release date pushback uh to q1 next year uh trailer and pushback seven weeks um and then obviously we do have this other screen which i'm really excited for catching things man i'm so so pumped for it but uh anyway guys that is gonna be it for this one thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and i'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers